Hi, in this video, we're going to add these mixed numbers. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So one way to do this problem is to first convert these into numbers that are not mixed numbers, so just uh, fractions. So to do that, we're gonna do it as follows. Two times three is six, six plus one is seven, so this becomes seven over two. Again, two times three is six, six plus one is seven, so this becomes seven over two, plus. So you bring that one down. Same thing here, six times four is 24, and then you add 24 plus one is 25. So you get 25 over six. Bring down the plus. Four times three is 12, 12 plus three is 15, so you get 15 over four. Let's just double check our work just to make sure we did that correctly. So you multiply here, so you get six, and then you add it to one, so that's seven. You multiply here, so you get 24, you add it to one, that's 25. You multiply here, you get 12, you add it to three, you get 15. So now we need to add these fractions. So in order to add these fractions, the denominators need to be the same. So what you can do is you can try to find a common denominator. So one example of a number that's a common denominator here is 12, because each of these numbers goes into 12. So let's use 12. So we're gonna make all of these 12s. So to make this a 12, we're missing a six, because six times two is 12. So we multiply by six over six. To make this a 12, we need a two, because two times six is 12. So we multiply by two over two. To make this a 12, we're missing a three, because three times four is 12. So we multiply by three over three. By the way, the reason we have to multiply by a number over a number is because you're not allowed to just multiply numbers, but you are allowed to multiply any number by one because we have this super important thing in math that says one times x is equal to x. And this super powerful equation allows us to do this procedure. So now we multiply across. Six times seven is 42. The numbers are gonna get really big. Six times two is 12. Plus, two times 25 is 50. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 3 times 15 is 45, 3 times 4 is 12. So now the bottom, which is also called the denominator, they're all 12s. So now we can just add straight across. So on the bottom, we're still going to have a 12. And then we just have to add up all these numbers. So you can do this by hand or you can use the calculator. I am going to use the calculator just because I don't want to mess up at the very end of this video but you could certainly do it by hand. And we'll do it by hand after we do it with the calculator, just to check. So you get 137 over 12. So that's one way to leave your answer, but there is actually another way to write your answer, and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But first, let's do this addition by hand. Like, what if you didn't have a calculator? Well, what you could do is you can line them up like this, 42, 50, 45. Of course, you could also do it in your head, but let's just do it manually. And then you put a plus sign. Then you add straight, straight down this column so you do two plus zero plus five, so that's seven. And then four plus five is nine, plus four is 13, so 137. So it checks. So you can leave it like this. This is called an improper fraction, or you can convert it into um, what's called a mixed number, which is what we had up here. So to do that, you have to think about how many times 12 goes into 137. Well, we know 12 times 12 is 144, so it's gonna be less than that. But 12 times 11, what is that? One times two is two, one times one is one. One times two is two, one times one is one. So if we add, we get two, three, one. So 12 times 11 is 132, right? So this is going to be equal to 11, right? 11, that's, that's how many times 12 goes into 137. And what's left over? Five twelfths. So five is the remainder, so five twelfths. So we can write it like that. You can check your answer manually by going backwards. Um, 12 times 11 is 132, and then 132 plus five is equal to 137. So five is basically the remainder, right? So 12 goes into 137 11 times, uh, and then you're left with five, so five over 12. So this is called a mixed number, and this is called an improper fraction. So I hope this video has showed you how to add mixed numbers. I picked an example with big numbers, so hopefully it's been helpful. Good luck, and take care.